Hello everyone, what's up? It's me again, Junk Monster 3. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the top 5 of the month for the month of uh, April. So uh, yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's begin right away. Uh, so at number 5, uh, we have When a Stranger Calls, which is the original one, not to be confused with the remake, which came out in 2006 or something. Unfortunately, I saw the remake before the original, before even knowing there was an original back in the day. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was a little bit shameful that I haven't had not seen the original one up until quite recently. So, uh, But it's a very nice, intense type of film. And uh, I think that's the main reason why I prefer now the original to the remake. Because the original had such a nice little atmosphere to it. It kind of reminded me of... Black Christmas in a way, it sort of has the same type of vibes or same type of similarities to one another which I really appreciated and um, about the phone call and stuff that just gets worse and worse and worse so uh, yeah I'm not gonna spoil the film for you if you haven't seen it but yeah that's my number five for the month of April and at number four is the film that I also made a review of quite recently which was the film called Trapped which I've already talked about in that review video. So if you want to know more about the film, uh, check out my review for it. Uh, really nice little like backwards like exploitation or whatever you want to call it uh, type film. So uh, yeah, trapped at number four. And at number three is another one of those. I think this might be the first one he directed. I can be totally wrong about that. But uh, Dario Argento's the bird with the bleh, the bird with the crystal plumage from nineteen seventy. And uh, I don't think I have too many Argento films to uh, to watch, or not not too many that I have left to watch. I think it is, let's see, I think it's Cat of Nine Tales, Deep Red, um, Dracula 3D, and uh, yeah, I think that's pro probably about it. And that Giallo, the one that he was just called Giallo, which he made with uh, Adrian Brody. I think those are the only ones that I haven't seen. And the Stendhal Syndrome as well. I completely forgot about that. And Phantom of the Opera. Totally just blacked out on those. But yeah, those are the ones that I have left that I haven't seen by Argento yet. So I'm looking forward to see those as well. Uh, so yeah, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. A really nice little giallo film. And I had no idea about the ending. The ending just came like, whoa, that is, that's interesting. So I really appreciated the ending because of how much it surprised me as well. So Really nice little atmosphere to it as well. So yeah, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage at number three. And at number two, we have a comedy film with the... I think these are like very like well known by now. I mean, these are really like like a comedic duo that really worked really well. Or at least according to me. Um, and I'm talking about uh, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. Um, and the movie is called Stir Crazy from 1980. Uh, which I really appreciated and I thought it was really funny and mainly because of the chemistry between these two actors I think it was truly uh, amazing and the dialogue is fast and funny and uh, it never gets boring I mean I, it does get boring from time to time because it runs a little too long it's almost two hours long which is a little too long for a film like this um, surprisingly there's like a scene that takes place at like some some, some sort of rodeo uh, which just goes on for way too long. I thought they could have like shortened that down a little bit uh, Because it just really felt like a thing that like shooting the rodeo type deal that I know really to media talk about it just feels like they They shot a bunch of footage for that particular sequence and then just shoved it into the film just to pad out the length of the film uh, I know that sounds really ridiculous and really stupid to say but I mean that's just my take on it um, overall, though, I think Stir Crazy is an amazing comedy film. If you if you want to see a funny ass film, go check out Stir Crazy. And this is another one that you can say is in the same category as The Bird with the Crystal Plumage and When a Stranger Calls. I'm sort of ashamed that I had not seen this up until recently as well. Uh, so yeah, at number one we have Dirty Harry, which is the uh, first film in the Dirty Harry series. So what do you want to call it? Uh, I thought I had seen this before, but I was just Maybe just confused it with some other title by which had a Clint Eastwood in it. Um, but yeah, really amazing. And Clint Eastwood's character is just so likable. And the way he says he deals with um, people that just uh, go... I mean, he is basically goes his own way when it comes to the law. 
and he thinks the law is wrong and he just goes rampage, really, full rampage in this film. Um, yeah, really great acting sh action sequences and I was really surprised by uh, the guy who plays the bad guy in this, uh, Andrew Robinson, who also is probably most famous for Hellraiser. Uh, he's the guy who plays Skinless Frank in the Hellraiser films. Um, and I also think I've seen him in Pumpkinhead 2 of all films. And I don't think I've seen him in any other film, to be honest. Might be in some sort of smaller role that I've seen him in. But that's just about it when it comes to that actor. But I think he was truly amazing in this film. Uh, playing like a really crazy maniac, basically. So, uh, yeah, Dirty Harry at number one. I think most people have probably already seen this film by now. It's just me that is just really lazy when it comes to... Um, to watch films you know yeah like that so anyway uh that's my top five of the month for the month of uh april so uh next next video is probably going to be a uh, maybe another top 10 list or a uh an update video maybe a review who knows we'll see what happens so uh yeah keep your eyes open for the next video and uh yeah see you next time bye bye